Good morning guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name's Julie and if you haven't seen me before, I'm 52. I've got spina bifida and scoliosis. Um, please come and join my, subscribe to my channel. Please come and join me. Um, my skin looks a bit puffy today, red. Tears a bit sore. Yesterday I micro needled my face and I applied these, um, they're like a cocktail. They've got neuropeptides in, collagen in, and hyaluronic acid, but really strong strength. So I microneedled my face. I numbed it first and microneedled and then applied one of those. They, each of those contains five mil. So my, the swelling should go down over the next couple of days and hopefully that'll help with all the fine lines and wrinkles. Right, I'm just going to get ready. I'm going to go and visit the kids today. So I'm just going to put a light makeup base on. Um, so the first thing I'm going to use is by Illamasqua. It's their primer. It's like a little gel, but it's like a gel. It's quite thick. It's not sticky. Just apply a little bit of this all over my face. Hopefully I'll be able to cover some of this redness today until the swelling goes down. It's not sticky, even though it's a gel consistency. It's not sticky, but it helps your makeup last a bit longer. It's got a, a, a slight smell, but not overpowering. So that's that on. The next I'm gonna put on is a um, Vitamask pineapple glow serum which gives your skin just a bit of a healthy glow under the makeup the weather today is absolutely awful it's pouring down i think it's here for the day typical because i'm going out so apply that all over the face and that gives a nice glow. Um, the foundation I'm going to be using today is by Charlotte Tilbury. It's just a light one. Um, what's the shade? Let me just put my glasses on, tell you the shade. It's a light medium. It's not a full coverage. I like a bit of a darker foundation. I'm new to the Charlotte Tilby products, I have to say, I really do like them. And then I'm just going to blend it in with, um, these are brushes by Celebrity, Celebrity Brushes. It's the uh, Lad Out of Tawi. The really good quality brushes. I can't think of the lad's name now. He's Amy Child's cousin. Is it cousin? Oh, what's his name? That's going to drive me mad now. Just blend that in. Always make sure just to go on the ear a little bit so you don't have a tire mark. As you can see, my skin's Still got that glow underneath. I don't really want to wear a heavy full coverage foundation today because I'm not really going anywhere. I'm only going to the kids. Um, under the eye area, I always use Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, it's great for more mature skin. And it lasts all day. I'm just going to dab a bit on me my finger. I've got the shade light. So just bring that down a little bit. I'm no makeup expert. This is just me. How I put my makeup on. Over the Cupid's bow. Bit on the chin. Bring it down onto the nose and then I will blend that in. Another celebrity brushes. I quite like 
quite, and I do like a light under the eye area. to put the heat on it's that blinking cold this morning set blend that in okay now the next thing i'm going to do is my eyebrows i'm actually in the process of growing them so they're a bit bit wild at the moment but once they've grown properly I'll get them done using the iconic and in the shade medium so I just dab it just gonna look in my mirror here to do and then just do little brush strokes as you can see it just tidies them up a little bit gentle brush strokes and obviously you can build this up depending on what sort of look you're going for can't wait for them to grow so i can have them done properly They don't exactly look like twins at the minute, unfortunately. More like distinct cousins, but <laughs> they'll have to do at the moment till they grow. So that's the eyebrows. Then I'm going to use a contour. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Wand. I need to just go from the top of the ear. But quite a high forehead so I do like to put quite a bit on the top of my forehead jawline hide that double chin just bring it down a little bit there and then the nose slightly from the top of my eyebrow i blend that in i'm also going to use a celebrity brush contour brush it's like a re angled brush this is one of the best contour brushes i've used you watch how quickly this just blends it i'm hardly putting any pressure whatsoever onto my skin and it's just blending beautifully it's one of the best brushes not that expensive either, they do different sets. So if you Google celebrity brushes, you'll see, but I definitely buy this contour, contour brush. It's lovely, it just blends. And then blend it into my, see how quick, there's hardly any effort. Make sure that goes into my hairline. I will go over it with a big brush then. I always do when I finish the look, just to make sure everything's blended in properly. Yeah, I really enjoy using the Charlotte Tilbury makeup at the moment. I've got that much makeup, I've got loads, so I will be showing you other items that I purchase and use. All the makeup that I do use and skincare is I've what I've bought myself. 
so I've got like the bargain makeup and also now and again I treat myself did you see my parrot then <laughs> I treat myself to a bit more luxury right try and oh he just flew for that he's right sitting on my light at the minute now he's walking onto my mirror he always has to join me he's fighting to bring that from the eyebrow Right, what I'm going to do then, I've got a big, Elsie, excuse me a minute, my little pup, I've got a pup, a Labrador pup, she's chewing everything at the minute. Right, I've got one of the thick, iconic brushes, what I do then is just go literally all over my skin, just to make sure everything I've put on is blended in. that's that next i shall put on a bit of blusher and i'm going to use the iconic blusher that's in the, i think it's in the rose blush let me just put my glasses on so i can see the shade for you sheer blush blind as a bat if i ain't got my bloody glasses on just put a little bit there a little bit there and get a blusher brush. This is again another one of the celebrity brushes. This goes on wet, but it dries lovely. Just it doesn't tend to last all day, so if you want a stronger blusher, I'd suggest um, putting a powder on top just to to set it. And again, and then I go over with my big brush just to make sure that's all blended in. Also, it looks a bit more natural. Just a little bit over the top of the nose. Okay, right. I'm going to use the Bye Bye Pour Pressed Powder just to set under my eye area. Uh, which brush shall I use for this? This isn't any particular brand. It was a actually a cheap set I got last Christmas, but they are really good quality brushes. So I'm just going to dab the brush in the powder and then press the powder into the eye area. And that just sets it and doesn't give you any creases. I hate it when it looks really creased under your eye. And when you're getting older, you do tend to get more creases. And then just gently brush that away. You can also use this to set anywhere where you've put your concealer. Okay. Right, what I'm going to use on my eye is the P. Louise base and it is in shade, what shade's it got on it? Rumour. It's like a light brown. I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. I love their eyeshadows and bases. So I'm just going to find a flat brush. Just make sure that's clean. That's another, that's another celebrity brush. Dab my brush into it. Okay. 
and I'm going to put this all over the eyelid just to cover any imperfections or redness and it just gives a subtle subtle shimmer but it helps the eyeshadow to gives it something to stick to and it lasts longer I've got nearly quite a lot of their shades I also use their bases as uh, for your eyebrows you can use them as lipsticks if you use them as a lipstick they'll last all day they won't move you can use them as a blush you can use them for everything they're so versatile eyeliners i'll show you how i use one as an eyeliner in a minute and they last ages these tubes last ages because you only eat, literally i know i put a tiny little bit on my hand Making sure all the eyelids covered. You can also use these as well under the eye area as a concealer. I see. Away from there. Okay, that's it. it just brightens up the eye as well the eyeshadow i'm going to be wearing is the iconic and i'm just going to go for that shade it hasn't got a name oh it has tell a lie it is called mm, icon and it's a lovely light shade because i don't want to really wear a lot of makeup so I'm just going to go in with the same brush. It's got a lovely shimmer. Just check that looks like right. So I done do the other one. Can you see it's just got a lovely natural shimmer without looking too heavy. Just need to bring it a bit down a bit more. Okie dokie. Right, I'll show you how I use one of their other liners as a base. I'll just get that This bear with me. Ah, oh, I can see it. Right, this is another P. Louise, and this is in shade Blank Canvas. Is it Blank Canvas? Oh, it's Rumour 07. And the one I used on my eye was Rumour 02. So this is quite a bit darker. So I'm going to use this as an eyeliner. Just put a little bit. I'll show you the colour. It's dark there. Right, I need a little brush to put my eyeliner on. Okay. This isn't a branded brush. It's just a little... And then I'm going to go under the eye. Can you see they work beautifully as eyeliners? You can also use these in your waterline. And these will last without budging. So I'll definitely invest in some of the P. Louise bases because you, could, you can use them for absolutely anything. And they dry down to a mat. So I'm just going to buff that in a little bit. Okay. 
Okay. So that's that. I've already got eyelashes on. So I don't really want to put mascara on them, but I will put a bit on the bottom lashes. I'm waiting to have them done again because they're a bit bitty. Hit and miss at the minute, so I'll just put... bit on the bottom lashes and this mascara is by Essence and it's Lash Princess brilliant this is it really makes your eyelashes really long um, it's a lovely mascara right so I think that's all my makeup done i just need to do my lips right the liner i'm going to use let me just have a look is by steve laurent it lasts 16 hours and the shade is vogue i like to wear like a nude a, a nude lip So once this is on, this doesn't budge either. Okay, and what lipstick shall I put on? Ooh, don't know. What have I been enjoying to use? Just bear with me while I have a look what I've got. Oh, that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use um, Beauty Pie in shade Flawless. I'm going to top that then with the iconic lip pumping gloss in shade Pearly Nude. I like that and then finish it all off with the setting spray by iconic prep set and glow it's the original shade and there you have it that's my look for today catch you again later please like share and subscribe and we'll speak soon take care have a fab day bye